never were prepared to have bombs go off at the happiest event in the world. I mean, we were ready to respond to it, but emotionally, that's not something that I thought I was going to have to deal with. During a traumatic event, uh, the public and probably EMS and just all first responders in general, it seems like we get put into categories and you have uh, victims, survivors, first responders, and there's, there's an imaginary line separating all those. Um, but I, I think, you know, we're all human beings, right? So I would say there's a misconception that first responders aren't part of the survivor community. But I'd like to break that misconception and hopefully by getting the message out that people will see that, you know, we're all part of this together. We are the community. I knew I had an opportunity to turn the worst thing in my life to the best thing in my life. And I never had a diagnosis of PTSD. I'm sure it was there. I realized like I was able to look at myself from a distance and try to be my own therapist in a way. I never was a runner prior to that. I hated to run. Running was painful. I saw it as optional suffering. And I never had the willpower to do it, but I thought, you know, if I, if I have the willpower to run to the finish line during a bombing, then nothing else is gonna stand in my way. There's, there's gonna be no cramps. There's gonna be no, I'm tired. Like, uh, and I just applied that to everything I do in life. So one thing I've learned out of all this is hope gets created out of nothing. And when you're hopeless, you just act. You just begin the process and hope will get created. I mean, our entire universe got created out of nothing. And now look at everything around us. And it's expanding and hope expands. And this is how it works.